Fisher's Point. Uh, this is Dale Wayman. And I just am so pleased with our pastor, Pastor Landon. And I've been thinking about his sermon that he preached on Sunday. And it reminded me of an experience that I had uh, with a God, a G-O-D, little g. And let me share it with you. Um, we had just returned from being on the mission field. Several of you have known that we spent some time in Ecuador and it didn't turn out as positively as we had hoped. I mean, it was a wonderful time full of many positive experiences, new friendships, outstanding cultural opportunities. However, it ended a year earlier than we had anticipated. I received a call from a psychologist while we were living in Ecuador. And he called me and asked me to work for him. And it was back at the same area where we had left. And so that meant we'd go back to our ascending church. Yet I fell into somewhat of a depression and had many doubts about whether I heard, had heard God accurately about being a missionary. So there was this depression in my life. There was also pride. I didn't want people thinking that we couldn't make it as missionaries. I was also really angry with God for putting us through this experience as his call to go to Ecuador seemed so clear. And that's when a little plastic God entered my life. God, little g, O D, a little plastic God entered my life. Well, upon coming home and being employed, we started to get credit card offers in the mail. We really didn't believe in debt, but with my depression, my pride and anger, I felt justified in using a credit card to get my family what they needed. So we moved back home without any belongings except for what was in our suitcases. And my thinking was, you know, we gave up everything for this call that God placed in our life. And God, you didn't come through. Therefore, I'm going to have to do this all myself. So do you see the mistakes in my thinking there? God didn't come through. Lack of trust by me. And I'm going to have to do this myself. See, self-sufficiency. So I was not trusting. I was not depending upon God. And what's ironic, though, was that I really wasn't self-sufficient. I was, instead, relying on a God made of plastic. So do I need a couch? Yeah, have the plastic God pay for it. Do I want to go out to eat? Have the plastic God pay for it. Did you know that plastic and God, little g, mean roughly the same thing? I mean, plastic means false or superficial. Little g God means fake, not real, an idol, something made from human hands. And in fact, Jeremiah 10, 5 says, like a scarecrow in a cumber field, cucumber field, excuse me, like a scarecrow in a cucumber field, their idols cannot speak. They must be carried because they cannot walk. Well, my little plastic God couldn't speak or walk, but I certainly became its servant. Proverbs 22, 7 reminds us the borrower is servant to the lender. I'm going to say that again. The borrower is servant to the lender. Moreover, my relying on my little plastic God, I was squeezing big G God out of my life. I was also squeezing myself out of opportunities for God to bless and care for me and my family. My first thought could have been, God, we need a couch. We're counting you to provide this for us. But instead, my first thought was, I can pay for that with my credit card and pay the bill over time. So you see, for me, that's where the problem came. I learned to trust a piece of plastic rather than the God who made the universe who has all the resources I need. I mean, James 4.2 is very clear. He says, you do not have because you do not ask God. You do not have because you do not ask God. Over time, I came to, I came to see that I really was not trusting God. However, it was too late. The car was maxed out. So that meant we had a long road to pay off this card. So as we came to the closing payoff, God drove a point home. 
I called the credit card company to get a payoff. They told me the amount and I put a check in the mail the next day. Well, a month later, we got a little surprise from the credit card company. We got another bill. Evidently, there is interest accrued between the time we were told the payoff and the time they received the payoff. So you know what? God said, now that I've got your attention, you will never be free unless you trust me. I want you to never forget this. So we paid the interest and we were finally free from my little plastic God. Thank you, God. Big G God. Well, I hope you're having a good week. Thank you so much for taking time to listen to my story. So long.